All right, guys, we've got a 2008 Big Dog K9 electronic fuel injected soft tail chopper motorcycle for sale. This bike currently has 3,979 very well cared for miles. Now, this particular bike is equipped with the yellow metallic base paint job, and then you've got skull airbrushing. Definitely a very, very gorgeous paint job. Now in 2008, Big Dog equipped these bikes with the extremely powerful 1,916cc, 117 cubic inch SNS V-twin motor. This particular one, as mentioned before, is the electronic fuel injection. Not a lot of those uh, out on the market. And so uh, pretty rare. They also equip the bikes with a six-speed Baker transmission. You've got a right side balance drive. You have PM disc brakes and PM polished bullet wheels. They definitely didn't spare any expenses when they built this motorcycle. Now up front, you've got a 21 inch rim in the rear, you've got an 18 inch rim with a gigantic 300 millimeter tire. Definitely gives the bike that classic chopper look. Now this is one of the cleaner bikes that I've come across recently. Um, obviously it's a 2008, so you're going to have a little bit of wear and tear. Um, but overall, I'm going to give the bike a rating at a 9.75 out of 10. Um, it's that clean and uh, as close to new as you're going to get for a used motorcycle. So we'll continue doing a walk around uh, condition report. We'll get some close ups here shortly. Now this bike does have uh, some additions and options from the factory. First off, you've got the rear sissy bar ready struts. What that will allow you to do is to add a sissy bar rather easily. Uh, you just pop out these plugs right here and then you're able to uh, insert the sissy bar. Uh, then you can add a, a storage rack to the sissy bar or a, a back seat uh, pad for a passenger. Uh, it just allows you to uh, bring some gear along and also make your passenger more comfortable. Now you've also got the uh, rear passenger pegs and clev clevis uh, bar kit. Uh, again, that's just going to let you facilitate that passenger. Um, you can either uh, do a pillion pad, a suction cup seat. Uh, they also uh, manufacture uh, two up seats that are one single piece. So you just pull out that solo seat and those pop in. So definitely a nice thing to have. You've also got the uh, Super Trap uh, exhaust system. The baffles are taken out, uh, I believe, and so that gives you a better sound. Um, they also look great aesthetically. And then you've also got the uh, Big Dog uh, Easy Clutch. Now they didn't start offering this, I believe, until 2008, but uh, essentially you've just got a little bit less uh, clutch pressure here. Uh, it just allows for easier shifting, stuff of that sort. So. So that about sums it up as far as the uh, additions go. And we'll go ahead and do some close-ups for you. So we'll 
we'll start off with that rear uh, Avon tire. I'm going to deem that the tire has approximately 35% of tread remaining. Um, so you can definitely get some more life out of it. Um, but it is getting a, a little bit lower. And obviously I want to as, be as upfront with you as possible. And you've got that uh, rear fender. It is in a great, great shape. There's really no major blemishes that I can point out. And that's why I've given the bike a rating of a 9.75 out of a 10. It really is a, a clean motorcycle. No uh, major blemishes, no suction cup uh, marks that I can see. Maybe the exception of a, a light surf scratch or something of that sort. Just from being dusted off through the course of its life. But overall, this bike is really, really clean. You've got the polished billet uh, throughout the bike that's in great shape. Uh, I just had the bike professionally detailed and um, he went over everything, polished all of the billet. And so really, uh, the bike doesn't need a whole lot of attention. <laughs> Something, uh, you'll, you'll wanna polish it every once in a while to keep up on it, but uh, the bike is in uh, ready to ride condition. You've got that uh, Big Dog Solo seat. It's in great shape. No major blemishes that I, uh, that I can point out. super trap exhaust it's in great shape you might have a little little scuff right here and that may even be something that can clean up um, I'll have to go over the pipes again and see if that's something that comes out or not you've got the uh, electrical cover that's in phenomenal shape no major blemishes to point out there actually I take that back Looks like there is one little crack right down here between the uh, exhaust pipe and the electrical cover. Uh, pretty hard to find because I almost missed it, but uh, I want you to be aware of that. The uh, motor's in phenomenal shape. Uh, again, I had my uh, detailer uh, really go over the bike. He spends a lot of time detailing these bikes and he does a phenomenal job, uh, but he really does uh, make the engine uh, a priority and uh, emphasizes that, that it's done correctly. So this bike has never spent any time uh, in inclement weather. It's always been garaged. I did acquire it from the original owner. You can see there's no rust marks in the uh, on the rocker box bolts, anything of that sort. So, the uh, underneath of the frame is in good shape. Uh, one of the cleaner uh, frames that I've come across, but these bikes sit so low to the ground, it's dang near impossible to uh, prevent them uh, from scraping a little bit. And so, it looks like you've got a little scrape right there. Trying to get up underneath here so you're aware of what you're what you're getting here. But overall, pretty pretty darn clean. Swing arms in great shape. Gas tank is in great condition. No major blemishes that I uh, that I can point out. Maybe with the exception, as mentioned before, uh, a few light uh, surf scratches from the bike being dusted off throughout the course of its life. But again, this is one of the, the cleaner bikes that I've come across. It's getting harder and harder to find these low mileage bikes that have uh, been well cared for and spent you know the majority of their life in the garage kind of thing. So. I don't know if you can see a little bit of that uh, metallic yellow. Uh, the colors almost change a little bit uh, with the lighting. You almost get a little bit of a chameleon paint uh, 
it, it's a pearl paint, I believe, and you get a little bit of a green uh, reflection depending on uh, the, the lighting and, and everything of that sort. You've got those hand controls, the mirrors, everything is in really good condition. The speedometer, odometer is in good shape right side uh, hand controls in great condition as well <laughs> you've got the uh, rear passenger pegs really look like brand new they've basically look like they've never been used I'm sure they have once or twice but uh, not a whole lot a lot of the time you'll get uh, oxidation in between the rubber and um, you'll get some of the rubber peeling off. You'll, it, you know, these just look like they're in phenomenal shape. So hardly been used. Pretty much the story with the whole bike. So uh, same thing with your uh, front rider pegs on your uh, brake peg there and foot peg. Really in great shape. Down tubes on the frame are in uh, really good condition. No major blemishes to point out there, maybe with the exception of uh, a little bit of uh, minor, minor rock chips. I don't think there's anything crazy, but let's see. Let's get this zoomed in and you might have one or two. Maybe make that a little bit more uh, light, light uh, rock chips just from uh, debris coming up from that front wheel. <laughs> But overall, really, really in uh, good shape. <laughs> Handlebars and uh, front forks, triple trees, headlight, everything is in really good condition. No major problems, just to point out there. Maybe with the exception of a, a little bit of road grind, but nothing, nothing crazy. Front forks in, in great condition, no major blemishes to point out. Front fender's in, uh, in great shape as well. Let's see if we can get a little bit better lighting here. No major blemishes to point out there. Polished built on the front wheels in great shape as well. Again, the the polished billet has uh, recently been polished, uh, as has the whole bike. You've got that front Avon tire. I'm going to deem that you're approximately 25% of tread remaining. And that's probably being a, a little bit conservative, but just want to make sure you know what you're getting and that you're aware of uh, the whole condition of the bike. Looks like you've got a little, little um, blemish in the paint there. I don't know if you can see that. And to the left of it, there's a little light, light, light uh, scratch there. I don't know if you can see that. Very, very light mark. But I want you to be aware of that as well. Uh, front brake rotor is in great condition. No major blemishes to point out there. Polished bullet on the uh, left side of the front wheel is in great shape. <laughs> Same story with the uh, left front fork. The 
down tubes, great condition. Front pegs in great shape. Rocker box covers on this side, engine jugs, ignition cover, everything in, in really good shape. No major blemishes to point out. Same story with the gas tank on the left side. Rider pegs, shift peg, all look great, almost look like new. Uh, primary cover's in good condition, no major blemishes to point out there. Frame on this side, you're going to have a little bit of scraping on the very, very bottom, but overall in really good shape. Kick sand in good condition you're always going to have a little bit of wear and tear just from how these function uh, with them going up and down you're going to have a little bit of uh, chipping chrome right towards where the uh, allen, bolt, allen bolt goes in on the joint electrical cover is in uh, great condition no major blemishes to point out there solo seat is in uh, great condition no major blemishes to point out. Rear passenger peg on this side, on the left side is in great condition. Looks almost uh, like new. That uh, rear swing arm on the left side is in great condition. No major blemishes to point out there either. You've got the license plate holder. Uh, polished built in great condition has clearly been uh, polished recently uh, by my uh, professional detailer Polished built on the uh, left side of the rear wheel is in great condition no uh, No major blemishes to point out there the uh, brake rotor is in great shape no as well uh, no uh, major blemishes to point out As far as the condition report goes, there you have it. And um, let's go ahead and fire it up for you here shortly. As you can hear a run. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Fuel injection spooling up there.
there you have it. Definitely shows the uh, motorcycle runs extremely well, rides even better. Uh, everything on the motorcycle functions as it should and uh, is in great shape. If you guys have any uh, additional questions, definitely don't hesitate to uh, contact me. You can reach me on my direct line, which is 801-564-0629. Again, that's 801-564-0629. Um, another great way to uh, track our inventory is to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, anytime we get any uh, new motorcycle inventory that will be uploaded to that, um, you can also look in the uh, description part on uh, YouTube and that will give you more information about the motorcycle as far as uh, any blemishes, uh, the asking price, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, you can also hop on over to our direct website which is www.utahchopper.com. Uh, we try to keep that uh, updated, updated as much as possible but we do have a lot of motorcycles going in and out. Um, another great way to uh, address any questions is to uh, comment on the uh, YouTube video or to uh, email us directly. Um, also, if this video has been helpful, please uh, like our video um, and again, subscribe to our channel. Most definitely uh, appreciate your time and also look forward to the possibility of working with you. Thank you so much.